Hey there. I would like to go over some activity that I'm going to uh, ask for your help in. And uh, first of all, uh, my kit, kind of like right here, is a Pearl Masters Maple Complete. It's a nine piece kit and it's outfitted with all Peisty 2002 symbols. All right, so <clears throat> I've got a 24 inch ride, a 19 inch thin crash, a regular 14 inch crash, a 16 inch thin crash, and a 17 inch crash, a 10 inch splash, and a 15 inch hi-hats. Now, I love everything there is about this kit. I love the sound, I love the way it's mic'd up, I, I like the way it lays audio down. I'm just a little sketchy on the 14 inch crash and I know I really don't like the 17 inch crash. I find when recording that the thin crash cymbals really give a lot more uh, meat to the recording, all right? So what I've done because I'm kind of unhappy with my 14 inch crash and that's, that's fairly new is I've bought a bunch of cymbals Particularly, these are all 14 inch cymbals, okay? And I've bought a bunch of cymbals because I wanna try them all with the, against the, the Peisty 14 inch crash, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open these all up and we're gonna see kind of uh, what's going on with them. I won't be playing them but there'll be a later video that will uh, encompass uh, a comprehensive look at all the symbols that I bought. <clears throat> so let's just start here. I don't know where that came from. So I'm not sure it's in the box. Some boxes may have one or two symbols in them. But I, I don't know. So we're going to check this box out. We'll see what it is. Now inside this box is a brand I never heard of from before. Okay. This is a 14 inch. 14 inch thin crash from Stag. I've never heard of Stag. So... Uh, you're going to be they're going to be with me on the on the stag tryout for sure. But before I go any further with pulling this out of the sleeve, I like to put, I like to put weight gloves on so I don't get finger box on the cymbals. Now I'm not typically one that chokes their cymbals with my hand, so I like to keep them fairly fingerprint free. Now that doesn't count when the the, the grandkids are over because they. They put their hands all over them, but, you know, that's the grandkids. They get to do whatever they want. But for the purposes of me handling them, I like to, I like to have a glove on. So this is the stag. All right, this is the stag. SH, it says 14 inch thin crash. I've never heard of stag symbol, but we're just going to give it a little, a little demonstration here on a fingertip today. Now, for me, that sounds kind of gongy. So I'm not so sure that I'm going to like it. But if you've heard it with me for the first time, you can leave your comments, please. I appreciate the comments because uh, it certainly helps with my opinion. All right, so that's the stag. Now, I've got another box here. Like I was saying, I've got another box here, and I don't know where my glove went. 
the middle. Oh, we'll see it. So let's see what's inside this box. This is nicely packaged. All right. There's two symbols in this box. There's a Peisty PS, PST7 14 inch thin crash. And what else we got in here? Uh, what this is going to be like genuine Wuhan symbols and gongs. So this is a 14 inch crash. Not a thin crash, but it says it's a fast crash. So we'll take this out of the box. I can tell right off the bat this is a heavy symbol. So let's see what this is going to sound like. Now I know my finger is somewhat dampening this, but hopefully you can get a flavor for uh, how that sounds. But that's Wuhan's 14 inch crash. I've never heard a Wuhan symbol before, so I figured I'd include one in the mix with my uh, search for a symbol. So next is the Peisty 14 inch thin crash. And honestly, if they made the uh, Feisty 2002 in a thin crash, I wouldn't be doing all this stuff. But this is the Feisty PST7 14 inch thin crash. Let's test this out a little bit. Right off the bat, you can tell the quality. Okay. So you can weigh in on that for me. Thank you. All right, so that was one, two, three symbols. Let's see what else we got here. Okay. This is gonna go off to the side now. I'll open up the bigger box now. Now, I think I know what's in the big box, but I'm really kind of disappointed that Amazon would send this box, okay? And in a second, I'm gonna show you why. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna definitely show you why. This is the sloppiest, sloppiest, way of shipping something I've ever seen. It's almost shameful. But this is this is this is what it is. Okay. You see that? It's a, a Sabian symbol, one symbol thrown in a box with a piece of paper. Now Amazon, shame on you. That is really not not cool. So what we have here is a Sabian B8X, B8X, all right, and the package is stapled, which uh, just tells me that if you're not careful, you could scratch your symbol. if you're not careful. But that's it, one piece of paper in there with a symbol. I know this has got kind of a funky color. It's Sabian, it's a B8X thin crash. 
and probably kind of a lower end symbol. But let's uh, let's see how this one sounds. I got my stick. And let's see what this sounds like. Kind of a gongy sound. That's my opinion only. Okay, uh, so put this to one side. Now the last one that I'm gonna open was the last one that came in. And I've opened these in the order that I received them, okay? So we're gonna open this one up. Now this one here came directly from Turkey. It only took a couple of days for it to come in, which I'm surprised about. So let's open her up and see what we got. Because I was kind of looking forward to this one. I've heard a lot about the symbols, these symbols, but I've never, never had one or seen one in person or tried one. And that kind of ends now. Should be a string on here. Is there a string on this pull? I guess not. Come here. This one seems fairly well wrapped. Okay, it's in one package. Which is in another package. That's the fragile sticker from Turkey. Another package. Just got cardboard wrapping in it. So this seems as though they wrapped it really good for the trip from Turkey. Okay, as you can see, wrapped up really well. So let's cut this tape and get into it. this out. Come on. Wrapped very tight. I can tell you that much. Wrapped very tight. That one come out the tape is stuck on it. Here we have smell that fresh Turkish air, which does smell different for some reason. <laughs> okay, come on. What we got here? This is a Istanbul Mehmet, handmade symbol from Turkey. Istanbulmehmet.com. 
Now, this hair was obviously very well wrapped. There's a 14 inch Istanbul Mehmet traditional symbol, uh, handmade symbols from Turkey. I've never, never had one, heard one, or seen one up close. So let's see what it sounds like. Honestly, that sounded probably the best of all of them so far, but uh, it just, it, it, it does. To me, it sounds good. I don't know if that's somebody's real signature, but it says Mehmet Tan Dedger. I'm assuming that's just printed on instead of signed. I don't, I don't really know. But this one sounds pretty good to me. Now, I'm only recording on my phone, so it's kind of hard to tell. But when we, get it, when we get the kit fired up and we start putting these in the rotation, we're really going to be able to tell the difference. All right? So for now, that's, that's where we're at, and that's what we're going to be doing. And uh, I've got plans today to go out with my in-laws, so I will not be getting to this today, but uh, I plan on working on it tomorrow. So, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Stay tuned, because this should end up being a very interesting uh, sound challenge. Take care. And if you didn't know, you can control your camera from your watch by going to the camera app. I would have been on for 12 minutes and 49 seconds, and I can say bye, watch the hand.